का कोई कंप्लेंट नहीं है तो क्यों हटे कह रहे हैं वैभव अग्रवाल देखिए पद्मजा भारत की बेटी ने यौन शोषण का आरोप भारतीय जनता पार्टी के सांसद ब्रिजभूषण सिंह पे लगाया है यौन शोषण का आप समझ रही मैं कहना क्या चाह रहा हूं देश की बेटी ने यौन शोषण का आरोप भारतीय जनता पार्टी के सांसद पे लगाया है इससे पहले उसी हरियाणा में एक देश की बेटी वहां महिला कोच ने भारतीय जनता पार्टी के कैबिनेट मंत्री संदीप सिंह पर यौन शोषण का आरोप लगाया था उससे पहले उत्तर प्रदेश में स्वामी चिन्मयानंद और कुलदीप सिंह सेंगर पे भी यौन शोषण का आरोप लगाया था ये लोग भारतीय जनता पार्टी के पूर्व कैबिनेट मंत्री और वर्तमान विधायक थे उस समय सवाल ये पैदा ये गलत बात है देश की बेटियां जो देश का गौरव है तो भारतीय जनता पार्टी के सांसद विधायक केंद्रीय मंत्री पूर्व केंद्रीय मंत्री पर ही यौन शोषण का आरोप क्यों लगाती है क्या यही नरेंद्र मोदी जी की भाजपा का बेटी बचाओ अभियान है क्या वो कहना चाहते हैं कि बेटियां जो है वो भारतीय जनता पार्टी के सांसद और विधायकों से बचाओ ये आरोप बलात्कार का है ये बल आरोप जो है यौन शोषण का है आप समझिए ओके आप आप कह रहे हैं कि उनको संरक्षण दिया जा रहा है क्योंकि वो भारतीय जनता पार्टी के हैं एक चीज मैंने आप बदल रही हैं आप सुनिए सुनिए आप एक मिनट मैडम मैडम प्लीज सुनिए सुनिए गरीब हो या अमीर इज्जत उसके लिए सर्वोपरि होता है आप एक बात को साफ साफ शब्दों में समझिए कि एक बेटी ने भारतीय जनता पार्टी के सांसद के ऊपर यौन शोषण का आरोप लगाया है मुझे नहीं पता कि भारत सरकार के खेल मंत्री अपने बंगले पे कौन सी सेटिंग कर रहे हैं क्या बात चल रही है सीधा आरोप लगाया है भारत का शान अभिमान है ओके बिल्कुल देर इज नो डाउट अबाउट द फैक्ट दैट दिस इज अबाउट दिस इज अबाउट चार्जेस केस मेड बाई वुमेन हु टोटली deserve to be heard and this gentleman should go but how do you respond rahul mehra to allegations that this is about politics within the federation a power struggle uh please give me a minute and i'll explain you why this man needs to step step aside or be forced to step down and why the government of india is absolutely duty bound and has all the powers under the national sports development code which is a code which is legal mandatory and binding as held by the supreme court of india and they have enough powers and in fact they should invoke those they have done it in the past for various smaller issues this is a serious criminal offence which has been committed and therefore prima facie it needs to be done so allow me to place two points before you number 1 there is then under the national sports development code of india which is a government of india document and binding on all national sports federations there it it is not for the national sports federation or any spokesperson of any party out here to even argue because it's untenable under law that these are private bodies which have absolutely no accountability they might be private societies but they are representing the uh, country they are representing india and they have been held to be discharging public functions and therefore they are accountable to every citizen of this country is the law of the land mm. and this is government of india's own document page 87 of that sports code is a, a directive from the government of india dated 12th of august 2010 which clearly mandates that all national sports federation and wrestling federation of india is one such national sports federation which is recognized by the ministry of youth affairs and sports government of india hmm. and this recognition is an annual recognition based on conditions to be and, and guidelines to be followed now in at the, on that page 86 87 88 that letter of 12th of august 2010 which is 12 and a half years ago clearly says that they must have rules and regulations and committees in place okay. for prevention of sexual harassment uh, to be dealt with number 1 the wrestling federation of india doesn't have any such committee i have been showing this document on the, which is taken from the website of the wrestling committee <laughs> federation of india which says that they have a So, uh, 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 sexual harassment committee is the big bold letter link which is given on their website under that link they say that this committee shall look into age fraud shall look into uh, match fixing and shall look into doping practices along with sexual harassment hmm. first of all you can't mix the two and the composition of the committee they say that the committee shall be called the ethics committee so it is an afterthought when they th- when they saw that people are calling them out they have changed the link of their committee's name to be called and this is actually fraud on the people of india and the government okay. of india 
by the Wrestling Federation of India. The composition of the committee is four senior executives, including hmm. secretary of the federation, joint secretary, and two executive members who are all male, and only one Sakshi Malik okay. as the female. When the under the Sexual Harassment Act 2013 and also.